Your certified most accurate four zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. The temperatures may not feel like spring, but the allergy gins or oh. whatever they're called mm -hmm. in the air certainly yeah. do. Especially oak. I mean, oak has been pretty high the last several days, and I don't think today <laughs> we're going to see a break from that. Oh, that right? Yeah, it's that time of the year. Uh, oak pollen season is uh, peaking, and we're going to have to deal with this at least for the next uh, several weeks. All right, here's what to expect. Another cool and rather cloudy day. It's downright chilly this morning. This afternoon, high temperatures only in the 60s and we're talking low 60s. The next weather maker approaches the region tomorrow. It's going to help to bring us some showers and thunderstorms late tomorrow through early Thursday. Behind that storm, high pressure moves in and that means that we're looking at beautiful weather for Friday and Saturday. Sunday, not bad, but it is going to be turning mostly cloudy on Sunday ahead of another storm system that could bring us another storm chance for next Monday. Live look outside. All is quiet here in downtown San Antonio. Raul B. Rodriguez Law Weather Camera showing you that it is 50 degrees and mostly cloudy. The cloud cover is back, but those are mid to high level clouds, so it's not producing any precipitation and certainly no fog. Much cooler across the region. Uh, this is how much cooler it is compared to 24 hours ago. You will need a jacket this morning. Uh, temperatures across Bear County, 45 from Scenic Oaks to Selma, 48 in Hollywood Park. Closer to the airport, it is 50 degrees, 51 at Kelly Field, 52 in Stinson. To the north and east of us, you are are seeing plenty of 40s, coldest and burning at 43. Along the border, 56 in Del Rio, 54 in Eagle Pass. That's sweater weather. So again, the cloud cover is increasing, and most of the cloud cover, of course, coming in from the west and southwest. Uh, we're getting more Pacific moisture aloft ahead of a storm, an upper level disturbance that's currently west of Texas. That storm is the system that will move east and bring us the chance for rain later tomorrow and Thursday. It is not just chilly here, but it is a lot colder over the rest of the country especially across the high plains, the northeast, cold enough for some snow across the northeast and the Midwest. No uh, snow down towards the deep south, but freezing temperatures, they are prompting a freeze warning. Let's track this upper low. So it's going to be moving across the state over the next 24 to 36 hours. Behind that, high pressure moves in, so that's why it's going to be dry later th uh, Thursday into Friday and Saturday. So the next weather maker will start to produce some spotty showers tomorrow afternoon. Better chance of rain tomorrow night into Thursday morning by Thursday afternoon that rain and storm uh, storms will move off towards the north and east so it should be clearing out tomorrow afternoon from west to east Friday will be dry partly to mostly sunny Saturday we'll see a mix of sun and clouds uh, Sunday the cloud cover increases and then we could see more rain coming uh, coming across the area for next Monday late tomorrow marginal risk this is a one on a scale of one to five so a low severe weather risk of uh, late one Wednesday of maybe a thunderstorm that produces high winds and small hail. Thursday early, that marginal risk is farther east. About a half an inch to an inch of rain across the area uh, by late Wednesday into early Thursday. Seven day forecast to 60 degrees this afternoon, 65 tomorrow, 20% rain chance in the afternoon. 40% rain chance tomorrow night through early Thursday. Thursday afternoon into Friday looking very nice. 81 Friday, 77 Saturday. Small rain chance Sunday and then up to about a 40% rain chance for San Antonio on Monday. That is a look at your four zone weather. You can get this online at news4sa.com. We'll be back.